Hello, everybody. It is February. No, it's not even February. It's merch. It's Brett. Is it? It's Brett. It's merch, and it's Brett. Hello, everybody. It's March 7th, 2023. And Bryce is to you, your green room, great room, pre-show, navigator, co-host, escort, bringing you in and out of the green room, great room, all dang thing. Coming up. Coming up today, we've got... Uh, let's see what we got. We got uh, we're gonna have some stories. We got a new game. That'll be some fun. We got a a, a few special friends here in uh, in the studio. We just sound checked them. They're gonna have something really fun coming up a little later. We got some new uh, some new monitors on the cameras and all. Of course, uh, you can support this at any time over at Patreon.com. Flash great night. That is where your support turns into savings. The savings of uh, the world. That's right. Save the world. Patreon.com slash great night. All right. Well, let's take you into the green room. Green room. Hello. 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 do. That's what they all say. They do. Yeah. I think so. Bryce, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Okay. How are you? I, I, I'm. Well, you know, I'm doing I'm doing okay, but don't fucking flip it on me. I'm trying to find out oh, how yeah, you're no, doing. We're trying yeah. to find out. Look, this is an investigation. Oh. We've been hired I'm an by investigative Martin. journalist. High profile by, by training. We were given one task. Yeah. They said, listen, Brian, Justin, you two are the greatest investigators in the history of the business. Facts. And we said, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi. Uh, not related. Unrelated. For the record. Yeah. Different not Miyagi. Related. Yeah. He's no, saying, no, yeah, no. I have one. I have one question. Mm -hmm. Now, what accent is that? Uh, oh, no. Connecticut. That was of the, uh, of the Connecticut Miyagi's. <laughs> uh, how is Bryce? Uh, Bryce is doing okay. We, you know, a little, a little, little rush today. We had our sound check a little late, but uh, we got it all set up. We're gonna have a good show coming up today. Well, because we have a, we have a, we have a musical guest, right? That's right, a, a pair of them, uh, and it's gonna be, a it's gonna be a showstopper. Uh, I think tiny I, shiny I think, robots. I think the the jury's out on whether or not they're musicians. Nah, I'm fucking right here. He's right there. No, 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 no. The, the jury's out on whether or not they're mus musicians. Oh, oh, he's right the there. Jury. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. You, the, you're the one who gave no, me no, the nickname. No, 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 no. That, that, yeah. do, do you appreciate the fact that you gave me a nickname that nobody had ever called me before, and on my 40th birthday, the cake had jury on it? Uh, I do appreciate it very deeply. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit intimidated, to, to be honest. I was like, what have I done? By yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, the, the fact that, like, look, uh, you dance on the top of a hill, and you don't expect an avalanche, you know? It's like, uh, I don't know, I just said a random... Brian thought that that the, there that is true. It, you do you do have fly. a lot of Brian thoughts. Yeah, not all of them get put not, on a forty a forty year old man's birthday. Cake. Not all of them become the word your wife uses to call you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, true. It's 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 pretty wild. Uh, Brian, yep. What's up with the weather? Uh, too warm by half. Uh, global warming. You, 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 you think we're it. done? You think we're done with any of the cold? I'm I'm hoping for just just one, one more, more week. One more Febreze. Let's go. Let's... Do we know? Have you put any any meteorological thought into this? I do know that I had a choice of Founder's Day picnic either being on the first or the eighth, and I was like, uh, sooner rather than later. We do the first. That's actually now moved into the 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 prime spot for promo, right? Between that and and season three. Yeah, there's a there's a fair bit. Um, the thing that I didn't expect is everybody is coming back for South by Southwest, and uh, yeah, as you know, when we bought this place, I was like, I'm gonna fix it all up, and everyone's gonna come in for South by Southwest, and they're all gonna be so impressed with this place. And then the pandemic happened, and then the uh, all the trees fell down. And then uh, 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 the weather, we had a tornado front while you were gone. The dirtiest tornado yes. front ever. Oh, my God. And, and where, where, where did they put these tornadoes before they come out here? And then while I was out. Covered in <laughs> filth. When I was out in San Francisco, everyone's like, well, maybe we'll come on out. I'm going to be at Southwest Southwest. And so I came home and like today was like, all these trees, let's uh, wrap it up. Let's, let's get them, uh, pack them up, ship them out. We're done with them. Oh shit! So South by's still going to be going on when Founders Day happens, huh? Uh, yeah, but the media part is what's happening, like starting early. this Friday. Yeah, like yeah. early. Yeah, it's like so. Now. It's like a, a, a number of people out of nowhere were asking for tours, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to give them the the whoopsie doodle 
sorry for all the broken trees. Well, but that's not your fault. Well, no. It but, would be it would be a reason to show a bunch of fun pictures know. and video. I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna gussy the place up. Gussy we're gonna, it up. We're gonna, yeah, we're yeah. gonna give give it a haircut, a little trim. Yep. Get everything out of the sound stage into the because uh, the workshop just got uh, finished up. Uh, we're moving stuff over there. Oh wow. Uh, operations for scam stuff all inside the workshop now. Uh, probably still won't look good. <laughs> but they don't need to go in there. They they want to go on the sound stage. Right. Yeah. Which it would be nice if that's it was a lot bigger. Nothing but inventory as far as the eye can yeah, see. Yeah, no, that's fine. Look, yeah. everything's going to go in there. You're going to have a great thing. Look, at the end of the day, it's, it's still seven acres. Yeah, but it's hard to seven get. Seven acres of rock. It's hard to get to the back. Seven acres so of many, so, rock. So many trees. Yeah, when you, when you, I actually still haven't done the, when, the, when you, done the trip back when there. When you do the lap, you have to duck down and hop over a lot. It's, it's, it's a Mario adventure. <laughs> do you want me to do like a, a, live, a, a, a live quick remote? narrated like thing so when people come in like you know when you go to like an, a museum or, or a thing put in the where, yeah watch okay, this for right. five minutes okay so they and come in we'll... and, and and we do the upfront stuff and i'm like and now to accompany you on your journey through the back five acres please start your play buttons now Boop. you gotta do a big intro because we're trying to kill time oh, no, I understand. yeah it was February. <laughs> I think it was probably February when the ice came. Ice, man's most frozen foe. <laughs> <laughs> ba, ba. Once supple water, ba, ba, no longer ba, 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 a, a gaseous delight. Ice is a menace to you, me, and society itself. Ba, 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 ba. You might think that it's just to cool your drink on a summer day, but ice can be a menace. And indeed, we found that out. In, I'm still pretty sure it was February. <laughs> when the ice came to okay, Austin. You've not told them where to go, what to look at, or what. Yeah. <laughs> Please begin walking toward the woods. Go to the left of Brian's shack. Not right, because they just take you longer to walk there. Now, walk to the front of the gates to the forest. This forest used to be straighter. But now it's kind of curved because a bunch of ice formed on it. Ice has a bad effect on trees. Trees. A curious concept, but one that we'll see a lot of on this trip. Please make a right into the forest. You are now looking at a bunch of trees, but imagine these trees were covered in ice. Somebody comes out in costume like, oh, I'm a tree. Ah, frozen. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> that was part of the audio. Sorry. Yeah. That wasn't being narrated, nope. but actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this discussion also in the audio also track. in the audio track. Uh, Keep walking. <laughs> if you see a tree, use your legs to walk over it. <laughs> By the way, we should actually have like a, a badge or an award if anybody actually completes the walking on the back acreage while listening to this. <laughs> you are now coming upon a tree. Look at the tree. Inspect it for honesty. You can see that it has been soiled. Buggered by the Iceman. 
<laughs> you can't cancel trees. <laughs> Is it you the tree's fault? Trees. Theologians disagree. You can't cancel trees. These come in threes. <laughs> Now, continue to walk down the path. It's mostly just one way. If you see a left or right, go right. Oh, except you should. What was that? It was a tree. You are now coming upon what used to be a big old hole in the ground. Just kidding, it's still a hole in the ground. <laughs> this is the kind of narration humor that you can come to expect from this program. Adjust your expectations accordingly. When the ice storm came, this was filled with ice. But except it wasn't really, because it was mostly just the trees that were covered in ice. Remind yourself to talk to somebody who lives in Austin when you get out of this and say, hey, show me some pictures of trees and ice. <laughs> Everyone's got them. It's not really that big of a deal. Nobody will mind it because it's very interesting. This is so true. <laughs> Keep walking around the rim of the gigantic hole. This is probably something that has a lot of trees falling around it. So you'll. it's probably not safe, to be honest with you. If I were you, I'd turn back. But I'm a coward. And you're a brave adventurer. So why don't you keep going? You've now come to a turn. You're going to bear left. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty much... The, yeah, there's not really a lot to this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 if you see a tree, kick it as hard as you can. <laughs> Especially if it's if it's standing up. If it's on the ground, then you're a bully. <laughs> now keep walking. You are making right as you head out from the thicket. Fun fact. You've walked four miles. <laughs> it might not have seemed like it, but it's true. In the world of ice trees. Don't believe your pedometer. Ice trees have their own laws. <laughs> Meters are like inches. <laughs> You're now exiting the thicket. Congratulations. The tale of the ice tree forest is now completed. Hopefully you've kicked a tree and you know that you're better than it. Now imagine that your foot was covered in ice and a tree kicked you. Isn't that something to think about? We're done. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. You're entering back into the thicket. <laughs> what? A, that would be the cruelest tour. <laughs> Some say that ice is just water's ghost. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah, all right. So somebody cut that out. <laughs> And somebody has to do the has to do the tour. We have to get those uh, cheap 1980s style foam covered Walkman headphones. Yep. All right. Yep. No, oh. that's gonna happen. We're gonna put it on cassettes, and we're gonna make everybody wear the same headsets, even if they have lice. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're doing it old school, baby. Uh, I'm stoked, man. It's it's coming up just around the corner. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be a big time, man. Uh, that's like my next plan. I'm trying to not have a lot of plans. I've had a lot of plans lately. I mean, have now you been, no plans. Have you been dissuaded Zero from, plans. Having, from having plans? It, it does seem like, uh, I mean, World's Greatest Con is not finished. <laughs> nope. It seems like we should. Like, I, I sort of lied to you, you know, like this weekend, you and me, we're going to hit it hard. Just didn't, wrap that thing Guess up. what? We didn't do the next weekend. <laughs> that either. <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah. We know we do have to finish World's Greatest Con. I do have to I've I've been putting off making a trailer and I need to make a trailer. That shit needs to go out. Um yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done and there's been a lot of plans and no more. I'm done with them. I'm tired of friends, I'm tired of plans, I'm tired of happiness. Was, I'm tired we, of we were, everything. We were talking about this on on our our quick run before the show. Uh 
you you went on a fairly tantric birthday adventure because you made plans for yourself and everybody, you know, just fibbed to your face about how much time you would be spending celebrating yourself. I mean, like, uh, yes, no, I got a lot of love two weeks ago, and that was somewhere in between a Care Bear stare and a bukkake of love. <laughs> Is it a bukkake? A bukkake of love? Well, yeah, well, normally, a bukkake is a bukkake of cum, right? Right. Some people are just is, there is for that, the. Is that not love? Some, some people are just there for the paycheck. Yeah, they just want to see the cum burn. Yeah, I don't. Well, yeah, you know, they're just they're, they're cashing a check like anyone else, right? Uh, is that right? It's like me and you. We're construction workers wait, by trade. Wait. They're just jacking off on somebody's face with a bunch of friends. Uh, from what I've heard from various porn stars on various podcasts. The toughest thing for those like incredible like seven thousand gangbangs or whatever is like, Christ, how do you get seven thousand anyone's to show up to anything? Yes, and it's like if the benefit is you get to participate in fucking a porn star, and even then they're all like, we got three fifty. It was like, what's the record? Three fifty seven. Okay, how many could go twice? Yeah, it's bonkers. Yeah, no, it's hard, man. Booking a show. It's hard. It's hard. Even if you're offering porn star sex, yeah, man, it's, it's hard to get people out of their homes. You know, the, the HD TVs and everything. You might as well just stay home, yep. right? For for a split second, I thought you were talking about HG TV. That too. <laughs> and I'm like, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You're the, like, the well, what was I gonna do? I was gonna clean. I was gonna have sex with this porn star with 400 <laughs> other people, or watch the Property Brothers. And I feel like the Property Brothers is a lot less me having sex on camera. Okay. Hold, on, hold on. All right. In the age of AI and, and face swap technology, yeah. what would be the funniest, like, porn star? Like, the, the Property Brothers would be a pretty pretty good one. The Property Brothers running a train on somebody. Um, yes. Oh, you're talking about HGTV to porn. Yes. Conversions. Although it doesn't have to be HGTV. It, it could just be any other basic cable. Disney Channel. Well, geez. So, well, now, now that's you the made, one you that made it you, weird. Yeah, I, did. I literally just pulled one that would make it weird. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. What about 1980s MTV VJs? <laughs> <laughs> like downtown Julie Brown. I, I, you know what? You, wubba you, wubba you, wubba. You said it, not me. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking more of uh, the other Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an Ed Lover, right? Yep, yep. Yo MTV raps. I was listening to the Fly on the Wall podcast, and uh, David Spade was just doing old Hollywood minute jokes. Yep. Where he was like, <laughs> "Wubba wubba wubba, my career's in trouble, trouble, trouble." <laughs> I, it, was there an ending to to that whole story that I missed? Of David Spade on Hollywood Minute or downtown Julie Brown? The wubba wubba wubba, my career's in trouble. Oh no, just. Eventually, oh, eventually downtown she, Julie Brand yeah, yeah, yeah. was not as hot as she was in her heyday, and, yeah. and uh, David Spade made fun of her for it. Has anybody that thought was a thing of like, that you like could just, just remaining hot all the time? But the Beatles. Okay, did did you see the thing I tweeted out about Paul McCartney? No. Okay, it is. I, I don't know if it's from some version of Masterclass or something. And Bryce, you would be doing me a kindness if you could find it. Uh, if we have not discussed this on the air, we have not. It's amazing because it very much appears to be he's trying to teach us a lesson about how to play piano. But the lesson appears to be, oh, well, see what all the fuss is about. It's just a piano. You just hold your fingers like this, and then world-changing music comes out. Yeah, and then he just does it. <laughs> it's truly amazing. There is a thing on on Back to the Fly in the Wall podcast where because. Uh, specifically Dana Carvey, but also David Spade are both gigantic Beatles fans that they will just wind up talking to guests about the Beatles and about Paul McCartney constantly. And uh, uh, he is apparently, especially when he is in the SNL orbit, very, very, very prone to just giving people a... Helpful a, advice? A, no, like a perform... Like he just apparently sat down at a piano and then just played seven Beatles songs. <laughs> like... Out of nowhere, like after a rehearsal when he was going to be on the show, uh, he apparently actually Jimmy Kimmel told this story on the show uh, when they locked down the street for a Jimmy Kimmel live performance. Uh, you know, they'll do two on the show 
but then they'll always tell the 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 act like hey by the way a lot of people are out here we did shut down the street so as many songs as you can play that they all go home happy it would be greatly appreciated sure uh and McCartney had been out and did like nine songs. Justin Timberlake shows up the next day because it's like a week's worth of like big things that they're doing. Uh, and he's sick. And he's like, how many we got to do? It's like, well, two's on the show and then whatever else you want. And he's like, how many McCartney do? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, nine. And Timberlake just goes, fuck. <laughs> No, that's amazing. It turns out I think I think Paul McCartney really likes playing and making up music. Uh, yeah, uh, Bryce, if 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 you need a, a nudge, uh, I posted on Twitter I think last week or something. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Brett, 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 Brett. I remember uh, when uh, Adam Adam Sandler on uh, I think it was Weekend Update was performing red hooded sweatshirt dip and, dip dip and as a gag they cut to paul mccartney in the audience mm. who said shabba Shabba ding ding dong. Dong. and i yeah. thought that motherfucker just collaborated with a beetle yep yeah about a red hooded sweatshirt sure yeah sure red hooded sweatshirt dip 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 uh what's up man uh enjoying y'all uh conversation that you've been having uh i i tried to uh, yeah, work notes. in micro bukkake party, but that the, y'all moved on before. Oh, man, that's the that's the real dirty work. <laughs> that's the, that's the real the dirty, dirty jobs. Job. Yeah. yeah, micro. More like right. micro. Micro. All right, micro. I got this. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there there are three parts to it. Um, there, oh, there's there's three clips. Should I? Well, no, no, no. It's it's all in one, but 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 there'll be three kind of arcs to it. Okay. Only two minutes. Yeah, I meet a lot of young groups, and I say I can't read music or write it. They go, what? <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, that doesn't work. Well, That's if you've true. done this, you can neither read yeah. nor write music. Do it without. But it means that it's here. It's not on a bit of paper. So imagine you pay kids who want for this master class because you want to be as good as Paul McCartney, and this is the lesson you get. First thing in the piano lesson, and then think about like the Eddie Cochran thing. <laughs> Are you with it so far? So that's, do the... that's a chord. If you play those together, and you just got that kind of this. Great explosion. And that. So you do that, one space, finger, one space, finger. So there you got the chord. I that's say, what you know, I do. That's a real tap. That's a good yeah. tap. Mm -hmm. And so you could kind of write a song with that. Yeah. But if you just move this up one, it's the same shape. Yeah. You've got another up. chord. Yeah, sure. Now you've got two chords. What if you move it up again? You move it up again, you've got three chords. You move it up again, you've got four chords. Yeah, yeah, and then again, you've got five. And then now you've got six. Well, you don't need more than that. Yeah. That's it. So you, you can only now need six. No, there's no more you need. Yeah. Of that. And you get songs. You know, going. <laughs> see? It's fucking simple. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. is fucking up yeah <laughs> see it's that same little shape aren't you glad you bought this class is a marvelous shape you can do anything with that shape then it gets bored you know <laughs> that's amazing that's, it's the most paul mccartney anything i've ever seen Watching, oh. watching the, uh, watching the, uh, the Beatles, the one they had on, uh, get back, get back. Yep. That was the one that got me. Oh no. Uh, was watch, watching him live figure out like, I don't know, something Jojo. So, yeah. all right. <clears throat> apparently, and this was a more fucking plug to the fly on the wall podcast. Apparently everything I'm going to say is from there, but, uh, they were asking him about get back. And apparently like a lot of them being like, I don't know. I think I think I got something like murmur, murmur, and then they play fucking get back in the Beatles, uh, specifically with Paul and John, and then George increasingly. When he knew that he had a killer, 
he couldn't come in and say, "Oh my God, guys, this right. shit was fucking all like, great." I don't know. He would have to pretend he to would discover have, he'd it. Have to the, so- oh my he'd, God, he'd or, 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 or at least soft sell it, soft like, sell like, it. like, 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 yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think, I think it's just something like, uh, like, uh, uh, get back, <laughs> get back, <laughs> like something like that, like get back to where you want to be alone. Make it a transvestite, Paul. Okie dokie. Jojo was a man who thought he was a woman. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, no. The blue bonnets are here. We've not talked about it yet. Yeah. Dude, they're massive. They're on roids. We have to go and poop in the blue bonnets. Sorry? What? You don't know about that? Pooping no. in blue bonnets? Uh, you know what? I would like to subscribe to your Substack. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Bryce. Pooping if you in could... the blue, blue bo- blood bonnets. Blood, blood bonnets. Oh, that's a whole different. <laughs> That's it. Bryce, if you could just do a quick search on pooping in this blue spring on Shudder. <laughs> the blood blood okay. are that blooming. That is the closest Bryce has ever come to just saying no, no. on this show. All right, pooping blue bonnets. Give me a minute. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get a lot bonnets. of coupons to just say no. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what? if I were to guess. What? <laughs> Stop it. If, <laughs> oh, okay, Brett. Brett. Shut what? up. <laughs> Not the NSFW I one. Know. It's just people squatting it's, in blue bonnets. This is a Tumblr it's blog people? called po- it's pooping, dogs? pooping on blue bonnets. It's there a little we go. Bit of everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because so many people go and they'll squat in blue bonnets. And so now it's pooping in blue bonnets. It's all right. So the, it, this is just all the Instagram photos of people squatting in a field of blue bonnets. And somebody but, puts the turd emoji out yeah, there. Yeah, they put the poopy face emoji right there. <laughs> Look, so even, even, even the Ariana Huffington. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that guy throwing a West Side Gang sign. <laughs> Well, taking a dump on. So that's bonnets. what's happening in Texas right now, but it's starting early, earlier than what it usually. Is. When does it normally start? <sighs> uh, about uh, right when South by Southwest starts is usually when it. When 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 the blue bonnets really start are popping. Out. Yeah. You mean you mean later yeah. this week? Right, but this is actually earlier because it really started last week. It was when yeah, it when it was starting to pop. So the blue bonnets, the blue not bonnets. South by. No, South by has always been a week after my birthday. Yep. Uh. Is it true that it's against the law to cut down the blue bonnet trees? Uh, (laughs) Well, Brian, (laughs) first of all, there are no blue bonnet. Yes, it is illegal because there are no blue bonnet trees. Well, no, but it's illegal to... to, to... If you're going to eat... Well, like, if it's in your own yard, it's a dick move, but nobody's going to say anything. Now, to cut... It's a dick move against who? God? No, well... Texas, I I do know Texas. TexDOT, uh, like, pays money to seed Indian paintbrushes and blue bonnets all up and down the highways. Yeah. So that's a beautification project. And you're you're messing it up if you go... Lady Bird started it out. Lady Bird started it out. Yeah. So... What if you're camping on top of them? Yeah. Hey, what about... uh, what about that dead body they found in the lake? Which one? The new one, the one that was the lady, Ladybird Lake. Yeah, no, it was see like I, see, she actually she was in Lake Austin. It no, was Ladybird. No, no, it's no the, the one that just happened this morning. Uh, I don't know. Well, there was a I lady. I read about it yesterday. Crashed her car. They crashed her car into Lake Austin, and she she drowned. No, this was just a random body that was oh, drug, okay. drug out of Ladybird Lake. Yeah. Although, thanks for informing us about the other dead body that there's, was waterlogged. There's, yeah. there's a lot of dead bodies that end up right down at the end of Rainy Street. I can tell you about four instances that have happened in the last year where somebody's drunk on Rainy Street, wanders down to Lake Ladybird, falls in and drowns. Yeah. That's really? Right. Yeah. Uh, is it too crowded in the lake? When everybody gets on the lake and it's really crowded? For the dead bodies? Well, no, no, well no. I mean, you can use them as a floating device. <laughs> like, I, I was seeing people complaining about all of the, you know, crowd and everybody. Uh, well, now, yeah, no, I, think, I think we're getting to the point, like, like we're getting into probably in the next month and a half will be peak. Yeah. Uh, uh, people are all out on, on the lake, laking it up. Yeah. Mm. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, of you know, music. Pumping, are yeah. We, are, are we gonna Dranks. do our, our, our pirate adventure again this summer? Hell yeah! We yeah. Are. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hell yeah. Have you done? Have you uh, gone down uh, uh, Lake? I mean the. Uh, Guadalupe River, Qua, uh, the or, or Comal, uh, yeah, Comal. Yeah. Have you floated uh, down the Blanco? Comal? That's a that's a tr- that's a good done, trip. I forget which one. We did do a float. I think it was Crystal something River. Well, there's well, the, you, you you and I went to Crystal River when we swam with the manatees. Oh shit! I might be yeah, I might, right. I might I've be been to Crystal that River. That was amazing. And I saw manatees. It so was I, yeah. I've been there. No, I don't know. I, Ashley, we we'll, we'll have to remember. But no, we went we went somewhere. We drove. Down thirty five somewhere, and then and then because there's a for few. A while. You have a few choices to make. I, uh, I, I'm aware that there was two choices, and we went with one of them. Yeah, San Marcos is one. The San Marcos River it was not is San one. Marcos. It was and not. And then San the Marcos. other one is in New Braunfels or Green. That sounds. That you sounds start in more Green like... and you flood, and then you throw your tube in a truck, and they drive you back. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that yeah. we did. Yeah, that's that's the Can, good one. We we should do a Bones podcast while floating. Uh, You're uh, adding a lot of technical <laughs> oh, no. problems. I'm, I'm here for all of it. Put we could we put, couldn't we put couldn't put handle the zoom <laughs> in the bag. Put that zoom in a bag. Give us four microphones and we we'll be fine. I'm It'll sure this would <laughs> there, there will be no for problem. audio we, listeners. We the, a, like, a, a stoic Bryce is just staring at the yeah. screen, <laughs> we can, likely yeah. thinking. Does Brian know who has to do all the work for that? <laughs> well, maybe we could. Bryce uh, doesn't. We, we can, can all do it on our own, and we, he'll be okay. We can put and those, he'll just hang out with us. We can put those over-the-air uh, uh, microphones yes. with the little bags on them like we're training Shamu. Yes. <laughs> and then and, and talk about how we're not <laughs> abusing Shamu. <laughs> we couldn't deal with the technical problems of being together and drunk. Yeah. That that foiled us this week. <laughs> well, yeah. see, and that's what would be happening if you're floating down the Kamal River. That's yeah. part of it. Oh They're, yeah, they, I, they, I, the cooler gets its own inner tube. Mm-hmm. So I told you about uh, just how like like everybody who lives on that river has to draw like strict boundaries. And when I was 19 years old, I think uh, uh, floating down with a bunch of friends. Uh, I I stepped on a very sharp rock and it was it was a decent puncture like we had to like uh, it probably should have gotten stitches but I go up and they're all like whoa 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 and I'm like I'm bleeding a lot and do you have duct tape and uh, and they're like mm, I don't know <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and then they made me wait at the periphery of the house and oh we went Jesus and got a roll of duct tape and then we sealed my foot up and I'm like bye. <laughs> I got to be uh, I got to be military dad on one trip where we had frat boys with their loud music upriver of us and just downriver was uh, military kids. I mean, they were soldiers, but they were military kids coming from uh, Fort Hood, and they were all drinking a lot. Yeah, a lot. I hear, I hear and military. We were folks trying to keep that. we were trying to keep in between the two without. Cause we were just trying to stay away from everybody. And, uh, at one point there was one girl who was mad about, so, so she was flashing her friends and I was caught. She was at flashing it because she was angry. I know there was, it was something. You and, married that one. And I just said, I said, excuse me. Uh, I can see your boobs. I just, you know, just, and Bryce, so she Bryce, ended up, I can uh, see your boobs. She can, Bryce, she can, but she have ended you ever up been so angry that you flashed, flashed someone. someone. Uh, I know that yeah. was no. it didn't make sense. You ever, but, you, ever, you ever just been seeing red and then flash dick real yes, quick? Like, let me just, just show just you this. Just, just, oh, there. And then just right back in. That anyway, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so uh, at one point there was a bend in the river and they're all to one side. And as we come through, I see that she's passed out. And they're trying to figure out what to do with her. And they're like, and so I go, what's and I so suddenly I'm dad now. And I'm like, what's going on here? Well, she's she's okay. I and they're trying to put her back on the inner tube so they can t- t- ah! float her, the rest, her the, way. the rest of the way. I'm like, yeah, you're not you're not gonna do that. that you're gonna call. Like, you're gonna call like right now. Well, we might get in trouble. That's what happens when you don't watch your buddy. Yeah, it's like call them, get it done, and they and I mean they could have told me to go fuck off. And yeah, it, but for some reason I didn't even have my head shaved. Yeah, but uh, sure you enough were they were like, yeah. yes sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Officers show up and they're like, "Who are you? I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Uh, I'm a voice uh, person. actor." <laughs> it's like, okay, we're listening to you. To you. Yeah, obviously. I was gonna say, like, like were they weebs? Maybe they were just. Maybe they were I just didn't following say, your voice. You should yeah. listen to me. I'm a voice actor. Did you use the voice, like, like go into character or a something? Get in the yeah. tube, Shinji. <laughs> 
That was good. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Uh, yeah. You see this? You hear about this? Uh, <laughs> they say, they say that we might get a fourth traffic light. What? Where? Oh, in the world? Yeah. What? We might use a fourth traffic light. Red, Red green, green, yellow, yellow, and what? And a fourth color or signal to indicate. I'm I'm Diversity. paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. Follow the automatic vehicle in front of you. There's a there's an auto drive. There's a self driving car in front of you. Follow it. Follow it through the intersection. What color? What, what? I think in the it's from Science Alert. I think white is what they use. Just but it's um, problematic. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 but but it, white, white almost, would make sense because that's what they do for trains crossing, right? It's it's, it's just how well has that red? gone lately? Mm. 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 Ask mm. Florida. Yeah. But I thought that was interesting because it's a very weird idea. Like, no, just keep following the car in front of you because it has the right path. Like, it's this very future where, like, all of the fucking self-driving cars are talking to each other, but there are still manual drive cars on the road. That's going to be the next, follow like, your, 20 years, right? I follow mean, your new metal masters? Is that – I guess that's what they're saying. Well, it, I, I, I would assume that nobody wants to give up their cars, right? Uh, but – so autonomous vehicles have to figure out uh, how to deal with crazy, like they're going to have their paths mm -hmm. and built into the programming will be also Frogger style. Crazy humans are going to come to and fro. Well, I'll be so. ready for that. Well, that, that's guy, what happens right? now, now, right? Yeah. 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 To deal with now. But it's going to take so long. It takes so long for cars to go out of rotation. It could be 25, 30 years before say everything is self-driving or self-driving is a standard. Yeah. Um, and then I guess at that point, maybe we don't even need lights at all. But I don't know. I, th I think that could be a weird I thing. Feel like, I feel like... It like, feels like someone's really trying to soak the man. Someone, uh, yeah. Someone's trying someone to get a... a fourth bowl. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, exactly. Like, like at, a, at a certain point... It's, it's, just, scope, it's, it's yeah. just scope creep. Four That's all it is. Corner. It's like you ever like wonder, like, oh, man, now we're out of Afghanistan, but now there's another war that we're buying a bunch of missiles <laughs> for. Like, like you just like, I don't know, for whatever you reason... You clear this stock of white bulbs. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, somebody's sitting on too many white bulbs. The next thing you know, they make a call to yep. Joe Byron and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Joe Byron? Yeah. Byron wants to make the white bulbs illegal for yeah. affirmative... Lighting. I like I like the fact that in this framework, uh, someone is Elon Musk and the man is you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you believe they wrote a song? Rush wrote a song about cars I being. Can... Oh, being what? Being outlawed. What? Uh, wait. What song? Talking about Trees? Red Marchetta. Gary Newman wrote the opposite song. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sure. People have no reason to live. That's right. <laughs> All right, Ed Barchetta. Okay, uh, I don't. I don't. You are. You're way more dialed into Rush than I am. Fuck Mary, kill Bryce. Wait, hold on. Do you know uh, what this Rush song is? Mm -mm. Brian, do you know what this Rush song is? Which one? Red Bruschetta. Yeah, Red Bruschetta. That's what it. I that's don't what think it so. Is. Me either. I'm I've so tasted a Red old, Bruschetta. I'm so old right now. I'm All right, so old. Mike would know. Little Red Bruschetta. Yes. Something is he's five thousand years old. That's true. <laughs> that's right. Like he's like like, hey man! I, I remember the, the first uh, 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 heard green sleeves. The buck knows what I'm talking about. Fuck you guys. Yeah, one guy knew it. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I love you, the buck. I love you. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, Mary, kill. Yeah, the Ford F one fifty, the Cyber Truck, and the Rivian truck. I'm going to fuck the Cyber Truck for the clout. <laughs> I'm going to uh, kill the F-150 <laughs> because I want to alienate myself from everyone else in Texas. Okay. And then I want to marry the Rivian truck because I love its little hood. It's little. It's, it's got little circle eyes. Lights. Yeah. Little that's so okay. I, I, I I, that's what I was getting at. Is I, I noticed I was like, they have open eyes. <laughs> the cyber truck has closed eyes. Yeah. I don't like the cyber truck either, but I don't like those. Yeah, because they've got the like the loop. Yeah, like 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 an extended aerial font that somebody used bad word art on. Yeah, this is a relatable way to express. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, truck lights. Yeah. What about you? What are you doing? I, Which one are you fucking killing? I, I I only know about one of those vehicles, so I would just mm -hmm. uh, marry, fuck, and then kill the Cybertruck. Uh, Wait, you never heard of the Ford F one fifty? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, y'all talk so fast, I didn't hear the second one. Yeah. So. 
He had I mean, it. He had it on one point five. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. If fucking Getty Lee said it in 1975, you'd still remember it. Yep. <laughs> You know me so well. <laughs> Man, um, I think I'm I stand by my statement. I might kill by the that way. Rivian. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna fuck that Cybertruck. Nice. I'm gonna marry that F one fifty because it'll be it'll run forever. Yeah. That's forever and ever. Car. Yeah. I know I think I would do the same. Which one is yeah. like a rug? Is Ford like a rug? Uh, no, that's Chevy. 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 Oh, wow. Like a rug. Fucking oh, like a rug. <laughs> The shit that is in this brain. Why did I know that so instantly? Yeah. I'm ashamed of myself. No red I can run. Campaign for decades. Well, and it worked. When right? you're Dude. driving a truck over a mountain, <laughs> you when know. You're driving a truck. <laughs> like a rock. You know you need to get over it all. Right up the tailpipe. Because, man. Go on. Have a bukkake party. Poop it in blue. We were skirting it, around the rim <laughs> and then we went right in. <laughs> Real <laughs> rim job. Went for cream the plunge. Oh, yeah. boy. Don't, don't I have cream on my face? <laughs> said Mike Rowe on, during the bukkake episode. <laughs> uh, Mike, Mike Rowe, why is he so small? <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, anyway, funny, everybody, when, do, when, so when do you think the world will end? Like, what, five years, 15, 20, oh, 25, geez. 150? What do you think? Oh, no, we'll, we'll, uh, there'll be a reboot at some point. Yeah, what does the world end mean? Yeah. The end of human civilization? Yeah. All right, Earth? so look at it like this. The Earth is, as, as uh, Carlin said, Earth is fine. We're fucked. Yeah. 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 All right. So like and you know, and that's Carlin. You know yeah. how world Dan Carlin. the world is like where we're living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that this one. Yeah. yeah. Like the way like you wake up. Oh, I'm breathing. It's uh, I'm glad I'm oh, on me? the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Yeah. You wake up and you're like, ah, oh, fuck again. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. You can do yeah. that because yeah. you're on the world. Because right. you're on the yeah. world. We're yeah. all familiar with that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That ends. Yeah. Oh. So when? When do you think? Uh, For everybody. I mean, we're in everything. We're all ends. Like that. I mean, I'm I'm flexible. Just what what works for you? <laughs> can I, can I'm just curious. Can I don't know. Are we free on Sunday? Is it? Is anybody got? Because if it's yeah. like if it's like within uh uh you know five years, I got a lot of mortgages I want to take out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now I'm saying that this is your okay, seventh okay. mortgage. Yeah. Real quick, yeah. let's say you knew that the world was going to end in five yeah. years. You take out a lot of mortgages, a, reverse, a bunch of reverse what do you, mortgages. What do, you, what, do you, what do you spend it on? Oh, mortgages. I mean, I'm gonna have so many houses. I'm gonna have a whole neighborhood. Wait, you're not for doing me. it for the money? Wait, you, yeah, you're, you're not gonna it spend so it on houses? anything? No, yeah, yeah. I just the world's gonna houses, end. Yeah. Well, I, I'll steal money. Like I well, don't know. But like, the, he who has the most toys wins. So yeah. That's what All of a doing. sudden, if I live in a neighborhood, do you think other people aren't just going to show up and give me money? He who has the most toys has a very loose butt. That's what my parents taught me. Keep busting through it. Yeah, go, go ahead. Just busting through it. <laughs> <Keep busting through. laughs> Talking about yeah. toys that go in your butt. <laughs> That's like, why you would have a lot of toys. What kind of... The mass... <laughs> what kind of... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm just priceless <laughs> efforts to keep me going have caused me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, no, no. You always gotta be <laughs> butts. Yeah, because okay. so they're, they're funny. They're okay. fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got right. they got this big uh, like they, they got they got they got that big flappy bits and, and you that fart out of them. No, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many places you can go with this. Let right. him let him hang himself. Let him choose. He'll yeah. do it. If okay. you give him a time, he'll do it. Okay. You don't need to prompt him every time. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. Hold on. Uh, yes. uh I'm loving this. A play but it's butts. Um <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, no, so sewing your butt. Together, mm. uh, a human. third cheek, the third cheek. Okay, human uh, centipede two, the third cheek. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Genetic I mean, if we're gonna have a fourth traffic light, like, <laughs> why not? Why not have a, thir Absolutely. a third cheek? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Would you? Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, genetically engineer. I've done it. I've cracked the code. And by cracked, I mean I've cracked the crack. There are three cracks now because there are three butt cheeks. 
Well, it's me. Crap. Also, on the side, I know I do a lot of movie trailers. I'm also a scientist. <laughs> Listen, Mr. President, we need you to authorize the emergency triple butt cheek act of 2024. Will you do it? Oh, jeez, man. Hey, <laughs> damn it. Oh, fuck. Jeez, man. It's me, <laughs> President. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, jeez. You know, man... What do you need, <laughs> Mr. President? <laughs> yeah. I've genetically engineered uh -huh. an entire new line, the evolution of humanity itself. A third butt cheek. Imagine the possibilities. You must sign now or Congress will come for you. Well, you know, the unions, you know, we've been building two butt cheeks for decades. That's right. But I'm it's time, about an it's independent time for, third butt cheek. It's time for us to go. move forward. Fuck. Boldly, <laughs> shit. I'm Joe Biden, and I, I I'm saying I'm I doing it. it. Was, it was Dad, God damn it! God damn it! I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Give me the sign, shit, man. Fuck. All right, here we go. I'm signing. I'm Joe Biden. I'm signing off on it. Three butt cheeks in every pot. Sir, that was a trick. I worked for CNN. We were wondering if we could trick you into signing a third butt cheek law. How do you explain yourself? Oh, fuck, man. Shit. <laughs> Shit, man. Fuck. I got fucked on this one. I got Dr. Jill. I got fucked. I got... Write me a prescription for getting unfucked by the media. Fuck shit. I'm allowed to do this impression because no one else has done it. <laughs> we, we go back to our moderators, Jill Stein and Dr. Ron Paul. <laughs> Man, that's messed up. He, he I'm signed. Jill Stein. Oh, I didn't know I was being Ron Paul. Yeah. It's me. I, I think the two butts are better for the Green Party. Green these butts up. I love them. I want them, I want them green as hell. Two cheeks only, the way nature intended. What about you, Ron Paul? Well, I didn't mention my newsletters. What are you up to? Well, I'm on television with you. It's me, the unmistakable voice of... Jill, Jill Stein, Stein of the Green, Green Party. Party nominee. Yes, correct. I don't give a shit. I'll fucking crush everybody's head in here. I got a violent streak, and it can only be satiated by me punching an eyeball straight out of your ear. I don't give a fuck. I'm Jill Stein. I fucking all axe kick a child in the head until his goddamn neck breaks. You think I'm scared of Hillary Clinton? Oh, I'll fucking no. all roundhouse kick that fucking pants suit off her titty. That's how far an all roundhouse kick. I'm Jill Stein. I don't give a shit. How dare you, Jill Stein? Oh, how no. How dare you? It's me, Keith Olbermann. It's you, Back Keith Olbermann. Job. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, my only I've weakness. I've taken off my glasses and I'm looking directly into the camera. How dare you, Jill Stein? My only weakness, impotent anger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's send it back down to Mission to Control. <laughs> All righty. Thank you, Green Room. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night. Free show, green room, great room, whole dang thing. I'm still Bryce Castillo, still navigating, bringing you in. I definitely need another 30 seconds, but this is A-OK. -okay. I got everything under control. Welcome back to the Great Night Free Show. Hello, everybody. Still March 7th, 2023. And I'm still Bryce Castillo. Let's take a look at the birthday borner. This is a special channel in our Discord server, discord.greatnight.tv. You'll see the birthday borner channel there. It'll look empty for security's reasons, but we've got a few birthdays to give out. This is where we're going to give out some shout outs that you have told us that we need to give out. Including Riley, Riley Riot turned 34 on the 4th. Happy birthday, Riley Riot. Uh, Vast Anomalies uh, had uh, their birthday today, but or not even, but, and we're going to give uh, some, some, some love and some well wishes to Tammy. Uh, she's uh, not doing super great. She's in the hospital, but we are pulling for you, Tammy. Hope that you uh, get over that. 
We also got Don't Panic VU letting us know that their 40th birthday was back on Thursday. Happy birthday. Happy 40th. Don't Panic VU. And El Condor Pasta lets us know that Brian Cranston uh, had their 67th birthday today. Breaking 67. That's the birthday borner. Of course, if you want to get your birthdays or any sort of shout out in the show, go to the Discord, go to the birthday borner channel and post in what your shout out is. Hello, everybody. You want to do some critical racing today? On um, Sunday, we had the first round of the 2023 F1 season in Bahrain. And, uh, whoo, whoo. I think that was a great, I think it was a great race. I think it was, uh, it was, a, it was, it was a very good race. Like, there were a couple slow parts, but but really, this is a really stunner of a race. Um, the short version, short version, we're seeing Aston Martin. The, Aston Martin's doing something really interesting in that Aston Martin's car last year was not terribly good. And then this year, they've copied more of the Red Bull uh, aero, aerodynamic design. But they buy a lot of Mercedes parts. You're allowed to buy parts um, from, from other teams. Uh, not just the engine, but uh, I believe Aston Martin gets the Mercedes uh, gearbox. And I think they even uh, use the same wind tunnel that the Mercedes team do. And it, it looks like that Aston Martin car, which has a Mercedes engine in it, is faster than the Mercedes works car, which is a huge da A, is, is damning on the zero side pod design, which doesn't seem to be working for Mercedes at all. Uh, but also, I think, it, I think that paints a lot of potential for all of the teams. You know, uh, uh, with with Fernando Alonso newly in the Aston Martin getting a podium, probably he probably wouldn't have gotten that if uh, Charles didn't have a DNF. But uh, Fernando had a solid podium there. And then, yeah, Lance Stroll also finished in sixth with, with, his, with his broken arm, his post-surgery hands. I think that shows that there's, there's, but there's a lot of strength in that Mercedes engine, and there's a lot of strength in the Red Bull aerodynamic package, and uh, uh, I think it shows that Mercedes are not on a good track this year, if, <laughs> and they don't have any money to bot to just rebuild this car with pods. You know, it takes a long time to make it to design it. Um, they've hinted that they'll have upgrades and, and modifications over this uh, over the next few rounds, but that's uh, it's expensive, and there's a cost cap, so. Uh, I think it's going to be tough for Mercedes. Um, uh, tough for McLaren, too. Goodness gracious. Thankfully, there were no great balls of fire. The Mer McLarens had a bad Bahrain Grand Prix. Uh, Oscar Piastri goes out after about, what, 16, 17 laps. His, uh, uh, I think they, it, it seemed like there is an issue to the power uh, supplying the steering wheel, which is like its own computer and screen. So they say, hey, come in. We think it's your. We think it's the steering wheel. We'll replace the steering wheel. It'll take a second, but get you back out. They do it. Doesn't work. He retires, and then Lando, who's still out there trying to do trying to do well, uh, has a pneumatic issue. One of one of the there's a there's a leak. There's some leak in one of the air valves or one of the pneumatic the pneumatic air pieces of that car. So they left Lando out there because otherwise his car was working, and air is one of the things you are actually allowed to refill on your F1 car in the middle of a race. Uh, and so Lando basically, because he had this leak and there was no way to fix it other than to keep filling the, the air, uh, he made six pit stops uh, in a race where most other teams did two. Uh, he had to stop every, I want to say 15 laps just to come in. Um, and he ended up almost, almost two laps, uh, almost uh, twice lapped. At the end of the race, I'm glad he finished, but that's uh, a that's a that's a real that's a real tough uh, a tough one. So Leonimus is the other one. Like uh, Ocon, Esteban Ocon got a ton of penalties. It's five seconds for not even being in the grid the right way. He he braked a little too a little too late and uh, uh, ended up over the line. And then uh, because they didn't, his team didn't wait the full five seconds. Uh, that they said, okay, well, that didn't count, so now we're giving you a 10 second. Uh, and then he got penalties for speeding in the pit lanes multiple times. It was uh, it was not a good uh, not a good one for Alpine. Quick question. Yes, caller. Uh, 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 hi, first time, long time. Hello. Um, when you say a penalty for speeding, yeah. do, do they give tickets? 
and uh, and do they waste a bunch of time and ask for insurance and all that stuff? Well, you well, uh, they, there was a fee. <laughs> I believe at least on one of those, Ocon had to pay Wait, like. So a, you you could like if you're rich enough, you could just be all like "fuck you, copper," and just keep on speeding. No, 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 no. Okay. You, you still can't speed. He was over in one of these instances. He was over by like 0.1 kilometer per hour. They have a button on their steering wheel that says, "Don't make it go faster than the pit lane." And he didn't limit. press it, and he he pressed it a little too late. Um, or no, I think he he uh, didn't hold it long enough. It was on the way out. He got too fast too soon. Um, so I think he had to pay a 100 euro fine. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> less than like a normal speeding ticket. <laughs> but, but, but they didn't penalize him for like his placement or like he got all of the he, benefit from speeding, even though it's a very little bit. He he just had to pay money. Uh, uh, no, no. He he retired from that race. So. Oh my god, that's a <laughs> severe penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, it wasn't a it wasn't a, a big thing. But, I'm but, sorry. It would be best if you stop doing the sport that you're no good more at. This. Just, you need to just go out of it. Uh, but no, they'll give you, what they'll do is if you don't serve a penalty correctly, like he did in this instance, he was supposed to do a five second penalty. You're supposed to completely stop at the pit stop, wait, no one's allowed to touch the car for five full seconds. They didn't do that. They screwed up. They didn't wait the full five seconds. So once he goes out, they say, hey, you didn't do that right. Next time, 10 seconds. Um, oh, so okay. It's kind of escalating penalties when you don't, uh, uh, when you don't take your punishment. And those are like definitely things that are like you can't hack. And then no one's like, fuck it. We'll just wait until the very end. We have a minute and a half, but it'll be at the end of the race. Yeah, there, there's only a few chances where you can do that. Um, but and most of them are not this, are not feasible. This is one of those things where I feel pressured to flex on my libertarian instincts where it's like, I because I'm thinking like if that rule didn't exist, I could uh -huh. picture teams going like, don't even stop. Just slow down. <laughs> we'll remove the tires while it's going and it'll be fine. I mean... For a long time, the pit lanes didn't have limiters. Uh, if you go back For and watch, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? Some people say. Uh, no, if you go back, they uh, the pit lanes don't have any speed limits, so they go through them at uh, full speed, and then people got hurt. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you really couldn't mm, couldn't do don't that. Don't want that to happen. You don't want people to uh, die. Don't want people to die, man. It's That's not like everybody up. comes in and packs in side by side to not watch terrible things happen on a car track. Well, but everyone's kind of sad when they do. They want to see a gigantic. Kinda. No, they want to see, like, they want to see a big fiery crash where everybody walks away. Yeah, you don't want to see anybody get hurt or die. You never so want to see go, anyone get hurt. Go, go to a monster truck rally. I, it's, it's like they have those. Are you like, criticizing F one fans <laughs> yep. or? Yep, I'm. I'm saying you're at the wrong race. Well, don't look at me. Look at Bryce. Bryce is the fan. Bryce, Tell him I, to go fuck himself. Bryce, can, can we? Can we all? Uh, do a Bones podcast from a monster truck rally. <laughs> That's how that question, you telephone game to yourself. You <laughs> telephone your game yourself. Yep. Yes, we can. Okay. That good. would be easier than doing it on a river. Grave row. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> this is the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I get to see Gravedigger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you, have you, have either of you gone to see a monster truck show? Uh, I've not. Oh, no. I, I, I've seen... I have. I have in the past, but not in a in a in a long, long time. When I was a kid, I saw one. I saw like stunt spectaculars. Uh, they got they got a couple. They, they ran one for a little bit at uh, not Epcot, uh, MGM Studios or something. Oh, that was the Indiana Jones one, right? No, I, like that one still runs. Indiana uh, Jones like, and the Monster of Trucks. Uh, I I want to say it was like a like a, a six cylinder circus or something, and it looked like somebody got messed up. Yeah, oh. yeah. I got to see it at the Astrodome. Yeah, yeah. Did they oh. did they play the uh, the bad news bears, uh, bullhorns, and of course. Well, yeah. no, that was after the uh, the Houston Oilers. Houston Oilers, don't do Houston that. Houston Oilers, that. number one, number. They ripped one. that off from the Dolphins. Houston. Oh, Dolphins. sure. Yeah. Houston Dolphins. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, what was the Dolphins song? Miami Dolphins, <laughs> Miami Dolphins, <laughs> Miami Dolphins, number one. Number one. Yeah. Number one. yeah. Uh, Apparently, yeah, before the internet existed, they were just like, fucking yoink. <laughs> 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 Who's going to know? <laughs> I should have that song. That song is mine. <laughs> you made yeah. this? I made this. <laughs> I made this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. You want to make this? Yep. Let's, Let's make it. it. All right. In our pants. Uh, yeah, all right, let's make sure everyone's okay and got dry pants. Uh, Jeff, you good? Annalisa, good.
Good, Brett. My pants are dry. Brian. Justin. The chat in our wonderful studio audience. There you go. Thank you so much for supporting us every week over at Patreon.com slash Great Night. Brett, are you ready to do the dang thing? Let's do it, friend. All right. I'm going to count you in.